load up the screen here it goes how it all starts okay cool this is pretty funny so this is um is this a would you say this is a consequence this could be a consequence of the prolonged period of time we spent indoors right but i i can't be the only one that's noticed the you know the real uptick in karen videos online now i'm not too sure if this is a case of us being indoors for longer so you know some people just respond weirdly to it they're just a bit like oh i can't handle this anymore um and they just freak out or when they do go out because they're so you know because i think a lot of people as much as they want to say they're in the kind of i believe it's fake you know this is covid 19 fake or i believe it's like the plague and if i go outside i'm gonna die i think it's both i think most human beings occupy both mindsets they think the same things that they think two things at the same time so i think that might have led to this explosion in karens right but if you're like i'd imagine most karens are like what over 45 they've got a couple of kids if they're lucky enough they might have a couple of grandkids so it's only natural that they'd be a bit you know on on edge that when they go outside because they 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 don't know if they're either going to get covid from just some random alien right some random illegal immigrant or if they're going to be unnecessarily you know subjugated to some sort of like you know a public freak out argument thing or it could be just the fact that maybe these kind of videos existed beforehand but we never had a term to kind of refer them to to a term to refer to them as that could be a thing but i've just seen a real big rise in these videos of these middle-aged or you know maybe a bit older than middle-aged white women usually a bit sexless you know that kind of sexless human being that looks like they just don't enjoy being touched at all regardless if it's by the, the only the only person they care for is their little cat or dog um they seem to have an inability to argue with adults it just always goes to like it goes from zero to 100 there's no argument you know usually when like you have an argument you know usually if you're in a shop somewhere and a woman kind of bumps you with a trolley or somebody barges into you or a kid steps on your foot i don't know there's usually kind of like a a beginning there's usually kind of like a start to that kind of discourse or communication if you're somebody that does that right you don't usually go wait what the fuck you little shit right you kind of kind of ah oh. the parent maybe looks at you then you go hey could you maybe you know and then you have that kind of little weird adult sort of talk and then they might apologize or they might tell you to fuck off but there's always a little start there's always a kind of a dance to it first you don't just go straight to the you know expletives and the you know cussing people out and telling them to go back to their country you don't usually do that right <laughs> i'd imagine it's usually kind of usually save the going but go back to your country you know suck your mum, all that sort of stuff you usually say that to the end because those are the nice juicy bits that you hope is going to really sting somebody you don't give them that stuff at the beginning but these karens do it all the time and i guess the other side the karen the more malicious side is what the amy cooper did right the amy cooper woman in the grand what's that central park in america where she essentially went off the handle and then when she went off the handle she threatened to call the police on the black on the black bird watcher you know oxymoron if ever there was one um as a kind of veiled threat right if i call the police you're gonna die which is mad isn't it imagine you had like an assassin's a, you know this kind of hitman right you had a number you could call a hotline for hitmen you call them and they come down and just murk anyone you point them at <laughs> it's just like a it's like a modern day version of um what's those guys on game of thrones uh the faceless men right it's a modern day version of it right you give them a bit of money you point and then they go and kill that person instead of doing it in their own sweet precious time they do it right then at that instant so yeah these karens are weird isn't it they're just never again and i guess maybe it's because i have this weird thing where i tend to learn from my mistakes right i think most people are, are like that right you make a couple of errors and you learn from them sometimes you don't need to make a couple but you know most people let's say you make a couple but if you're smart enough you can make one and then learn from it and not do it again you'd imagine with all the videos that exist out there right because i'm sure I'm sure on like mum's Facebooks because I'm sure a lot of mums use Facebooks, right? They must these videos must circulate in the same way they circulate in other platforms. Um, but generally, you know, the consensus is what it is, and if you see that Amy Cooper video of her snitching on that bird watcher, there's no way you can watch that and say, okay, she wasn't the right, she wasn't right. If if you don't, you know, if you get in an argument, with an adult just walk away too. But you know, you'd hope that even on those platforms, Facebook, wherever it was, these Karens exist, that they'd be some acknowledgement that hey guys we can't freak out at people in public because people are recording us let's just be a bit you know let's mind our p's and q's but they don't they still shout and you know <laughs> and freak out and lose their mind to our entertainment of course as viewers but it's just a bit sad really because you know exactly what's going to happen in it 
that person's going to get doxxed. They're going to find out where they live. They're going to find out where they work. They're going to find out who's closest to them. They're going to ring all those places, get them fired from their job. They're going to have to do a sorry apology. It's just, it's just going to ruin them as a person, right? I'm sure family members that didn't know they were like that are going to see that video and be like, oh my God, Aunt Karen is wilding. We're not going to talk to her anymore. She's off the Thanksgiving list and stuff. And you know how Americans love Thanksgiving. It's just a complete shit show. I feel kind of bad for them in that regard. I have some compassion, but god damn this video is funny so this is an, a new one this lady's in the park i guess doing some steps you know running on the, running on the steps doing some little you know side to side motion shit um the karen comes i guess she's annoyed that people are doing that anyway because I, I guess that lady isn't the, the trigger for it she's probably seen people doing it again and again in that area so this is the final thing that kind of the shoulder breaks the camera's back she kind of walks aggressively up the stairs in the first place the woman doesn't really notice her and then <laughs> in the final show of defiance she walks back down the same stairs again but brushes purposely really close um by the asian lady that's sort of like you know doing the steps and then they get into some sort of back and forth and it just from there it just goes to a whole another place but god bless that asian lady the, the lady has been subjected to the, to the abuse she keeps herself very zen and very calm i guess it's because she's exercising so she's kind of used up a lot of her her, her adrenaline she's probably been a, she's been a, she's in a bit of a zen state she's just, she's just looking at her like huh this is interesting so this is the video this is from twitter i'll show it to you now it says here how it all started There she goes, up the stairs. And there's obviously like a, a dress code for Karens in it, right? It's always just like nondescript. And it's not, again, not to be mean, you know, the white thing is not really an issue. It's just to kind of, maybe it's the giving up of in life, innit? They've just given up. They just don't care anymore. I'm done, you know? There's no effort to, you know, those, her legs are like, probably see-through paper not seen sun in years they're probably not moisturized she's got the you know some awful walking shoes that are, are comfortable that probably got a million insoles on them because she refuses to do the necessary work that her you know physiotherapist tells her to do at home so she has to insert you know layers upon layers of fucking inserts into her shoes to make them walkable like you know hand-me-down shorts hand-me-down shirts that probably she's had those items for like 27 years the only nice thing she bought herself is maybe a pair of glasses or some headphones but it's just a complete it's funny that how that kind of outside exterior right the lack of care that you take in your body or in your clothing will somehow kind of um reflect in how you know disgusting and really vile your personality is right to kind of cause an argument in this scenario because most of the times these kind of public debates or these public sorry these public confrontations they have some level of validity to them right someone did something wrong to you or you feel agreed then you have some sort of you know argument but this is just like a nothing thing isn't it like a woman's doing some exercise on the stairs and this somehow this goes into an argument it's impossible for an argument to, to exist in this scenario but it does it continues she's still on the steps the woman comes back down in a minute let's see her coming to frame <laughs> I love it. I love it. Here she goes. Jesus. And then we get the second frame, which is this. This, this is obviously the best part of it. Let's see it. Part two. No, where's the argument? Oh, where are you? There you go. Here anymore, okay? <laughs> Next time you ever talk to me like that, you're gonna get your ass kicked by my family. They're gonna fuck you up. I'm I'm glad she said get your ass kicked by my family because when I first watched it, I was like, hold on, you, you, does she think she's gonna kick the woman that's exercising? I don't know, whatever time in the morning that is on the stairs on her own, doing these little flutter kicks and I don't flutter kicks, but you know, doing a little step up on the stairs. You probably not. You know, that lady could probably run rings around her and I wouldn't get tired and probably start crying on the floor. But I fucked up by my family. What Her whole family's going to come down and beat her up. That's a bit mad, isn't it? <laughs> what did That's I right. do? They're going to fuck you Why? up. What did I do? Because you are an asshole. Look at the whole stairs to yourself. <laughs> you had these Why don't you go somewhere stairs? else where you can go to a gym? This is not just for you. 
that is that is quite an accurate example. It's quite an accurate thing to be upset about, right? If you're a regular civilian, you're seeing somebody taking up the whole set set of stairs, and then you want to walk down them, and you have to kind of go around another way. That's one thing. But usually, most of the time, if someone's exercising in a kind of a public pathway somewhere, if you're a sensible adult just saying excuse me i'm gonna walk down the stairs do you mind if you probably stop for a bit if they're maybe throwing a ball around or they've got a kettlebell in their hand and you're a bit worried about it, it's you know slipping out their fingers and hitting you inside their head usually people are quite accommodating they're like yeah no problem just give me a second and they you know move their stuff around and you can walk by it's not that big of a deal really if you think about it but i guess in her in her world just having to worry about it is already an inconvenience just having to think about talking to somebody that isn't her friend or that isn't her husband or isn't her cat is already going to drive her over the hill. Oh, you Get need the to... fuck out of this world! Get the fuck out of this state! Go back to whatever fucking Asian country you belong in! I like how she lowered her voice there. Go back to every Asian country. Like that was, gonna, that was the insult I was going to get that woman. Go back to every Asian country. Okay, you racist. You fucking bitch! This is not your place! This is not your home! We do not want you here! That's really good again, isn't it? Just the repeating, this is not your place, not your home, we do not want you here. Just to cause some real pain. But again, it's just like, God damn it. From the point of, she has a point in one aspect, right? And then you completely lose it when you start just insulting people like this. Like, what do you expect? What, what, what's the solution here? And the point, and the thing that I hate about these sort of confrontations, and I've, I've had a few of them like this, yeah, where you try and be the bigger person and somebody just keeps, you know, bombarding you with all these mad insults <coughs> then when you get into a physical altercation you're like you know what enough's enough because that's the thing that's the only problem in these situations where women never really have any even a women and women argument there's no real threat of violence ever usually it's always just exchange you know of kind of verbal insults unless you're like on a Walter hip hop video but with men because there's an underlying threat of violence right if you say too much it's going to go to the other level it can never get that far but there are some guys that out there that do exist who just you know will talk a whole bunch of shit the moment you put your hands on them they suddenly start crying you know crying a foul like what are you doing you're freaking out what's wrong with you you're going crazy look at this man eh? it's like no brother you you brought me to this point you, you 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 brought us both here you paid for my fucking oyster card and yours you put that on facebook i hope you do because every fucking person will beat the crap out of you from here on out Imagine people beating you up on Facebook for a video they saw. That's mad, isn't it? That's something I've always kind of wondered what happens. Like, um, is that like a thing? People seeing a video of you. Like, imagine if you beat somebody up on Facebook, on, on Facebook and you happen to go a bit over the top and you, you know, soccer kick their head into next Tuesday and someone saw you and they thought, oh, that was unfair. Would they kind of bring that up in person and say, hey, by the way, I saw a video of you list upload yesterday at 3.45 and I'm just going to, I'm here to kind of enact revenge on that boy that I don't know who he is. Like, what? Don't you ever say, oh, Jesus, to me when I want to use the stairs, you little bitch. <laughs> There's other stairs. You are sick. That's a great reply. I want to use the stairs, you little bitch. There's other stairs to use too. But again, I have sympathy with the woman in that regard. I don't have to use other stairs because you're sitting there. I'd, I guess she'd have the same sort of energy for somebody that was sitting on those stairs, you know, kind of, you know, I guess kissing their partner, right, or hanging out with their friends, right? She'd have the same sort of complaint, I'm assuming. You'd hope so, right? You'd hope it's not just some, like, um, she's going around, you know, with her binoculars looking at any Asian person on a set of stairs running and wanting to go and attack. Fucking ignorant teenager. Oh, oh, thank wait, you. Fucking what, middle-aged woman? <laughs> Who wears black in California sun? <laughs> Who the fuck wears black? I like the. I'm not sure if this is if this is the the point of the insult, but I like the fact that she's kind of going for the, you know, veiled crackhead insult, right? That you live in a hot country, you're wearing black because you're trying to maybe hide your, you know, your your self harming scars or you know the little needle needle marks. I don't know. I like that. Maybe that's not the point of it, but maybe I think she's insinuating it. Are you an idiot? You were black in California, son? You're an <laughs> <laughs> She walks off into the sunset. She literally walks off into the sun. An absolutely epic video. I thought I'd just open that up with, you know, keep it a little bit loose and get things in a fun way because there's a lot of serious stuff happening in the world right now, and it? So why not make it a bit more fun? Let's move this camera.